Right, I'm up. I'm up at the crack of dawn. Six o'clock, I slept like a baby last night. That's where the tent was, all cleared away, bags all packed, leggings on, leggings and windproof because it's, it's quite cold early on the morning and we're heading up here onto the tops and you just don't know what it's going to be like so we'll get some layers on. Um, we're all out of water so I need to collect some water on the way. Going to just do some yoga, some stretching out, and then we're going to try and get, it's a six and a half mile trek to Grasmere, and we have to come off the, off the coast to coast, a little bit of a detour to get to Grasmere, but I'm going to do that anyway, because uh, I need to stock up on, uh, on some camping meals and just get a few bits and pieces. So, I'm going to do my yoga like a big old stinking hippie, and then... Um, and I'll bring you in for some views off the top. Let's do one of these, look. From the, yeah, right, let's, let's take you to the top. Bosh. So there's a long, from around that corner, we've come all the way up there. This last bit was really steep, not for the faint hearted. Whew. Not for the faint hearted or the out of shape. <laughs> if you're out of shape, you're not doing this walk. So, it's a bit of a false, false summit really. We've got to go up and over and round here. But first, I'm going to stop. I'm going to have a coffee. Definitely take my leggings off. Lather myself up in uh, sun cream sun cream and vaseline it's the order of the day <laughs> this is such a cool little touch see these little cairns it's all the way up here there's no real sort of distinguishable path and so people have made these little cairns out of the stones from around here and as long as you stick to the cairns, you're sort of on the right track. Thanks humans for giving, for just being nice. Stuff like this. I like it. Come on bro. Come on geezer. Yes. <laughs> uh. The beautiful Grasmere Common. Alright mate, how's it going? <laughs> oh. Right, it looks like, uh, here's a little lesson for you, don't, it, don't try and do the coast to coast without enough water, because, you know, it's unforgiving. Oh mate. That's what happens when you, uh, you don't bring your Vaseline for your chafing. Right, I didn't bother, didn't bother going to Grasmere. Stopped off at the Traveller's Rest Inn just to fill my water bottles up and uh, have a bit of food. And now, it's over the tops to Patterdale. And we'll see what time we make it in. If we get to Patterdale in a decent enough time, we're gonna push on and try and get up to Angletown and camp up there. Maybe even have a swim, wash the old plums. That was a big trek up, we're at uh, Grisdale Tarn now. So there's two, da two ways we can go. We can go up that way. Oh no, there's three ways, sorry, up that way. Or up that way. Or straight down the middle, which is where I'm going to go. Uh, my left ankle's giving me jip. 
it's swelling up a bit and it's hurting so we're gonna it's not so much the the inclines it's the declines it's when i'm going down that's when it hurts so we're going to stick to the middle bit which is a gradual a gradual uh, descent into patterdale patterdale common we're off down there my ankle started to go on me late on yesterday um, as I got into Patterdale and I didn't have it I didn't think it'd be wise to to smash it on up to Angle Tarn if I just take it easy I'm gonna go at a slow pace I'm up and out early I'm just gonna go take it really slowly and if I've got to do shorter days then that's so be it because I can handle blisters I can handle chafing and I can handle all that stuff because that's just pain. That's just, that just hurts. I can handle that. That ain't going to stop me, but um, like ligament or whatever it is on the ankle, that is a problem. So I'm just trying to look after it as best I can because I don't want to fail this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going till it either well it'll have to snap or break. Even if I've got a crawl. So we've just come from Patterdale. And we're up this is Angle Tarn now. When you're going west to east, you have the sun uh, in your grill for the first half of the day, but the majority of the day it's on your back so it starts to sap the back of your neck and your legs so it's nice to have a few clouds this morning there's a shit sack asleep in a tent on this little on the little nab angle tarn there you are <laughs> if that's you on the 20th of may sunday on the nab angle tarn Uncle Azo was ogling you while you slept. <laughs> the wind is picking up now. Shout out Joey D. That's the... Uh, I mean, you came down that the other week, brother. Now I'm on this side. I'm running out of adjectives. Uh, to, ex to just describe it. Stone cold Steve stunning. Chill out though, eh? <laughs> you don't want to be stacking it down there because that'll be the last stack you ever do. I'd probably survive it, but most people not. In fact, I might do it actually because it's quicker. Quick way down. Mm. Nice. Chewing as I go on whatever I can find. Just keeps you going. Tastes good too. Gorse flower. Look at these youths. Chill out. <laughs> Little woolly Guinness cow. Alright mate. Why has nature put a big old, uh, alright mate, why has nature put a big old thing there on you? Hey up, don't worry about it mate, we're friends. It's either you or me kid, come on. You've got a snazzier jumper than me, get move. Oi. Stand off. There's only one winner, isn't there? See you later. I miss you. We say goodbye to the fells and the mountains. 
of the Lake District. Uh, and then we're heading into Yorkshire, or towards Yorkshire, the rolling hills and countryside. Uh, so the more and more we get into Yorkshire, the, the stronger I become. Uh, powered by it, powered by the white rose of Yorkshire. I've been going for, been slugging it for about five and a half hours, I haven't stopped. I thought we'll just push on and we'll get to uh, Shap and then we'll either find somewhere to keep in Shap, I think we've got a campsite and uh, we'll rest and hit it again tomorrow. I've taken refuge, got some fish and chips, I'm just gonna hide behind this wall for an hour and let my feet rest and then get out of this little, we're in Shap at the moment and we're gonna get out of Shap and find somewhere to camp. But first, I'm going to fill my belly and rest my feet. Managed to get in this pub car park thing for a fiver. Some dude with a hillyberg. Fiver. We're up and off. Um, oh, my ankle's killing. Absolutely killing me. Luckily, there's a lad from, a nice lad from Watford who just pulled up in his uh, Hilleberg and uh, he gave me some more strapping. So I've strapped my ankle up as much as I can. We'll see how we get on with that. That's the one thing I did forget is my watch. So I've no idea what time it is. But because I'm up at the crack of dawn with my work, I know that it is the crack of dawn. It's probably... Sun hasn't really put its head up yet, so it's probably about half five, <laughs> which is fine. It means we get a, uh, an early start. Well, there's a train. Right, I need to put this away for a bit lost. Yeah, it means we get an early start. I've put myself into the Black, the Black Bull uh, pub in Kirkby Stephen, because that's where my granddad stayed. So, uh, just as a little nod to him and as a chance to just soak my feet and whatnot, I'm, gonna, I'm staying there tonight. So I'm looking forward to getting there. It's a 20 miler today, so it's quite, it's quite a long way, but it's not as the terrain on the map. It doesn't seem as bad as obviously in the Lake District, you've got your fells and your mountains and stuff. This seems a little bit more forgiving. <laughs> Dorothy. I've talked to quite a lot of sheep and ca I've talked to quite a lot of cattle on this journey, not in a Dr. Doolittle sort of way either. More in like a mentally unstable sort of a way. Because <laughs> coming through the, well, it's nice to play a game sometime, uh, dead or asleep with the sheep and it's uh, luckily so far they've all been asleep day five my fitness levels are fine I could run this and my mental state is fine it's just my body is packing up on me I've got my knee I've got my knee and my ankle strapped there there there, there what they're hurting the ankle's swelling, the knee is starting to just buckle on me and just it's starting to hurt. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a village as well, a bit of a town, so I'm gonna see if they've got any more, any sort of straps or permanent, um, I don't know what the f you call them, supports for my knee and my ankle. And then we'll whack them on there, even if we've got to just gaffer tape us, gaffer tape a stick to my leg. That's ah, giving in. This is happening. There's, there's, there was times this morning that it was a struggle. 
conservation area, keep to the footpaths. I will, mate, no worries. Yeah, this morning I took a couple of wrong turns. That was bad for morale. <laughs> that was bad for morale. Uh, it's the hardest it's been this morning so far. Uh, but now that I'm all strapped up and uh, I'm going to neck a few painkillers. I've got some painkillers in my first aid kit. So neck a few uh, ibuprofen, more strapped up. I'm good to go. Right, the universe must know that I'm, uh, that I'm struggling a bit today. Because look, it's out to cheer me up. Oh, hello. <laughs> da. It's the simple things in life. <laughs> like someone bothering to draw a cock and balls on there. That wasn't me this time. You could tell it was faded anyway. So that's been there for ages. That's funny and good. Whoever did that, good. Good on them. That's cheered me up. Look at this. No paths at all. you just got to wing it. Right, not all those who wander are lost. I'm lost, by the way. Uh, Try to do what I thought was a shortcut and then thought, ah, you know, let's stick to it. <laughs> what could go wrong? I've sort of lost my bearing on the map. sort of roughly know the direction so I'm just going to go as the crow flies and wait until something I uh, recognise something off the map back in the game back in the game ah, let's put about three miles extra on the which was already a 20 miler <laughs> but back in the game back on track now We'll just have to head down. I'm not doing much filming, I've realised. <laughs> I started off like putting the camera down, walking past it, doing uh, time lapses and stuff. I had such and checking the map at the end of every day. But I'll tell you what, when you when you're getting like when you 20 miles a day and your legs and your, well your knee and your ankle and everything is giving you jip. It becomes about the about the walking, about the making it. So uh, filming is has become is quite low down on the priorities now. So my apologies if if this is a bit of a shit vid, <laughs> but it'd be even shitter if I didn't make it to Robin Hood's Bay to the sea. I've got to chuck that stone in there. For now, we're just trying to get to the Black Bull. I've said to myself, right, so it's half. The black bull for me is halfway because I'm doing I'm doing it in nine days or whatever it is nine to ten days. Um, so I'm thinking halfway, probably allowed a slurp at halfway. So I might just treat me then to a few ales, maybe a bottle of red. We'll see. See how I feel when I get there. But right now I feel like a belly full. I'm spitting feathers and the vultures are circling me because I'm struggling. <laughs> struggling to walk. Uh, I can. Uh, this is the beginning. The beginning of Kirkby Stephen. <laughs> I must be eight minutes away from from the pub, and that pint, that first pint isn't even going to touch the sides. I'm literally just going to throw it at my face. Look at this. The simple things in life. Oh. <laughs> done in. Done in. Oh, jelly babies, they'll get smashed. Water will get smashed. Oh, bruise. <sighs> Bathroom. <sighs> oh, ten past three as well. Not bad for a 20 mile, 23 mile, actually. Good, made good time. 
three o'clock. Oh, freshen up, rest, charge phone. I didn't film much last night of me drinking because things got a little bit um, things got a little bit spicy. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it at that. Anyway, so this is just catching up on where where I went. <clears throat> so when I camped at the side of the path, just coming out of Stonethwaite, I was past that turning, so I was there exactly where my finger is. And so the next day, I crossed over to real tough up and down out of here into Grasmere Common. Um, I took the low route, always take the low route because why would you put that extra pressure on your knees? I mean, you do get the views, but we're playing the long game here, kids. So, through Grasmere Common. You don't quite go into Grasmere, sort of just... I mean, you could do. I just shot straight through. I chose the right-hand path here. I stopped. Where did I stop? Oh, yeah, I stopped at the Traveller's Rest for something to eat and a drink. And then cracked on. This is where my ankle really started to go. I came up here. Round Grisdale Tarn, which is beautiful. Um, and as I'm walking, I'm like earmarking little places to come and wild camp as well. So here again you can go up um, either side, but not for me, I went straight down the middle through Grisdale Forest, Grisdale Beck and into, into Patterdale. Um, now I had planned to carry on and try and get to Angle Tarn but my me, um, <clears throat> me ankle was just wrecking. So I stopped in Patterdale, <coughs> recuperated, got some bandages on it. And the next day, this was this was a slog. So we got up at Angle Tarn. Um, so over Angle Tarn, over the knot, that's Hayes Water. I've camped on here before. And then this is a little bit of a, a lot of people go wrong here. So if you keep going, it takes you down High Street which it looks like you should go but you've got to double back on yourself and go up and round um, Kidsty Pike. A really steep, steep decline down there. Onto the side of Hawes Water and you go along the side of that, along the side of the reservoir which takes longer than you'd think. Through these lovely woodland um, full of bluebell and sort of oak and stuff, real pretty woodland. And then kept going through all these farmers' fields into Shap, <clears throat> and now so that was a good twenty miler. Was it twenty or fifteen? I don't know. Maybe fifteen mile actually. Um, I set off to go wild camp somewhere because my legs were kegged. Um, as I got past this really strange pub, um, I saw a hilly bird getting set up, and. Uh, Spoke to the guy, I think his name was Pat. Shout out Pat um, from uh, from down south, where was he from? Can't remember Pat, don't know if your name's Pat, but shout out you, he had a, <coughs> a Hilleberg and he gave me some of this gear to strap my uh, ankle up with. And that was a fiver to stay in this real crazy pub car park, so I fell on my feet there, lucky. And then yesterday we went from here, it was a 20 mile day yesterday, plus I got a bit lost which added a couple of miles on which was lols. <clears throat> so yeah, you come out of uh, out of Shap, it's a lot of sort of farmers fields and, and moorland. Down here, past Robin Hood's grave, couldn't see that. Came through here again, all farmers' fields and moorlands. Um, jumped onto the Dales Highway for a bit here. Ah, this is where I got lost. This bit. <laughs> for so I don't even know what happened. I think I overshot this and sort of went around there like that, like a wally, right round and then back down. 
it's so frustrating, man, when you go, when you get lost a bit, because it's, it's valuable energy and calories and everything. But I soon got onto here, a lovely little, um, what was it called? Smardale Bridge. Real quaint. I had a nice little chat to a couple there who were wild camping. And then, oh, the final four mile slog, the vultures were circling me because they could see I was about to drop. I was struggling, struggle city, but then got into Kirkby Stephen at about three, so I made really good time because I'd set off at like stupid o'clock in the morning. And, uh, and that's where I am now, dealing with um, a couple of bottles of red wine, several Guinness, one of them ones. I had a really good night though in the end. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna. I've, just, I've had breakfast. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick around here. I'm allowed to be in the room till 11, so I'm gonna make use of that and just rest my feet. I'm gonna head out and just see where we're gonna back on the adventures now. We're not gonna stay in a pub. We're just gonna rock it. We're just gonna sleep where we fall. We're gonna walk until we can't walk no more, and then we're gonna see where we're at.